Fright Night is almost here, and it's time to ensure all trick-or-treaters are ready for the hair-raising evening. And nothing is more important than safety on what's supposed to be a dark and stormy All Hallows' Eve. So uh, wearing bright clothing or reflective uh, stripes will help to make yourself more visible to motorists. And uh, really using sidewalks and crosswalks, uh, you know, instead of zigzagging across the road. Going to, uh, to houses that are, that are well lit. Don't go to houses that, are, that don't have any lights on. Uh, going into wooded areas, that sort of thing. Um, and using the buddy system. Uh, never go trick-or-treating by yourself. It's not just the kids who need to be on the lookout. Parents must also keep a watchful eye. Make sure that you check the candy beforehand. I know it's, it's one of those uh, urban myths, but it's still a good thing to, to check over that candy to make sure that there's nothing that's harmful or, or uh, you know, somebody's put something uh, that, that uh, could hurt your kid in there. Over at Spirit Halloween, they have glow sticks and flashlights to help keep children visible. Right. Owner Cheryl Holmes says it's never too late for last-minute costume shoppers who still want to get their hands on this year's top sellers. The morph suits, where the kids get in and they're just like the green men and the Canucks down on the coast. And also this year, they've gone one step further with the morph suits, and they made them so that they have little machines inside them, and they'll blow them up like giant balloons. And the girls are monster high. Lots of real cute little um, outfits for the ladies, and the guys like scary, so the guys are always going for zombies. For those wanting an alternative to the traditional door-to-door -door Halloween, the First Lutheran Church and School is offering Trunk or Treat, where a parking lot of cars is turned into a neighborhood filled with candy. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.